Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge, and today we're going to talk about how to choose a rifle. Now, before we begin, I want to be very clear. We're talking about a rifle for defense, okay? We're talking about a rifle used to actually defend yourself, defend your property, defend your family. There are plenty of other rifles that excel at hunting and target shooting. This is for defense, okay? This is for actually shooting people when you need to, when your life is threatened, okay? Before we begin, I just want to say that the video is going to be on full 30 uh, initially, like at the beginning. Um, we're also going to be on YouTube as well, but if you want to see these videos first, full 30 is the place to do it every, every week. So for most of our uses for defense, folks, we're going to be using this inside of our home. Okay, very, very few people are going to be using this outside the home, but these would apply with that as well. So for most of us, the recommendations that I'm going to make for you are going to be for, it's going to apply to almost 100% of, of use inside the house or on your property. Okay, also if, you know, stuff breaks down and there's looting and stuff going on, this would also apply. So I want you to consider something. The, the, the traits of a rifle, I'm going to show you some examples of some rifles later in the video, but let's initially get into some traits that you want to look for. Just like anything else that you're going to use to bet your life on, the first trait that you want has got to be reliable. It's got to be 100% reliable. Every time you press that trigger, that rifle needs to go off. Everything else is secondary. Every, every bit of it is secondary after reliability. When you need that rifle, you're going to need it in the worst possible way. So when we put that safety off, we flick that safety off, whatever we do, we put our sights and we press that trigger, that round needs to go off. It needs to work because when you need it, you're going to need it in the worst possible way. All right, so it needs to be reliable above everything else. I say, well, Reed, what, what kind of rifles are reliable? There's decades worth of stuff out there about which rifles are reliable. I'm going to show you some examples later, but as I said, that gun needs to work. Trait number one, reliability. Okay, the second thing that we're going to look for is, is a good caliber. Now, there's all kinds of, <laughs> you guys know I don't do the caliber debate thing. I think, it's, I think it's pretty idiotic to debate supersonic chunks of metal going two to three times the speed of sound. The human body really doesn't know the difference between diameter. But what I am going to tell you is that at any common intermediate cartridge or any full-size rifle cartridge is going to do the trick. What are some examples? Not all inclusive, but just let me give you some common cartridges that have been killing people for decades. Okay? 556, 762 by 39, 545 by 39, 308, 30 06, 762 by 54, also known as 762 by uh, Russian, all right? All of those will work. Those are all intermediate or full-size rifle cartridges. They've been killing people for decades. They work, uh, they hit hard, and they will end you when you get hit with them. All right, so any one of those is fine. So we want a reliable gun, we want a common rifle caliber, and that's good to go, all right? Third thing that we're gonna consider, accessories, not so much important. I mean, all you need is iron sights and a white light uh, and good magazines. I mean, that's all the accessories you need. If you wanna put more stuff on there, that's cool. I don't, um, I use iron sights on all my rifles, maybe an optic and a white light, like, that's it. I mean, it works for 100% of the applications in the United States. All right, so what we're gonna be using is we need good magazines. That is, is the most important accessory of all is a good magazine. Magazine's the heart of the rifle. It's what feeds it, okay? We need good, reliable magazines, and fortunately, there are good, reliable magazines out there for relatively cheap prices. All right, I've seen them a lot more expensive, trust me, but right now, they're good to go, so get about, you know, five or six good ones, be done with it. Um, you go through more than that, you're gonna be internationally famous so I can guarantee you that you probably only need about five or six, all right? There's no need to spend a bunch of money. How many does Reed have? More than five or six, however. And I, when I was just getting started, I started with those, and those did me well with training and everything else. So good magazines for your accessories, and that's pretty much about all you'll need for that. The last factor, and one of the more, this is where it hurts, is the price. Some people say, well, Reed, how much should I spend on a rifle? Well, let me ask you this question. What's your life worth? I don't really think it has a price, and it most certainly doesn't have a price for the people that care about you. Expect to spend between $800 to $1,600 on a good rifle, depending on which one you use. Uh, there are very good ones out there. There are very good ones. You can spend more. Um, my recommendation is that price may or may not come into consideration, but I would save up until you had enough money to buy a quality rifle. Save up that $800 to $1,000 to get into a good rifle. You can spend more for the premium ones, and believe me, it'll be worth every penny. But price is really a non-issue, folks. There's no cheaping your way out of this, okay? There's no cheaping your way out of Yeah, but I can, I can get brand X for, for $500. Y you could. Yeah, I mean, that's absolutely true. But, uh, but you know what? You'll be sorry you did. <laughs> All right, you want to make sure that you spend a good money on a rifle. It's a once-in-a-lifetime purchase. 
once in a lifetime purchase. A good rifle will last you your entire life. All right, so do not cheap out on this. Spend the money it is, all right? You can get good products for 800, 1,000, 1,200 bucks, and if you wanna go really high end, you can go more than that. Believe me, I was a college student at one time. I know the value of money, and that's why I saved up to buy the good rifle that I did, okay? Let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about for a good rifle. So this is just a brief overview of what we're gonna be talking about real quick. I'll just really briefly go over. It's not a detailed review. I just wanna show you some things to look for. So we're gonna go through some of these one at a time, give you some, you know, some advantages of each one and, and uh, why they're good to go. So let's get started. All right, guys, this rifle here is the first. It meets all the criteria we talked about. It's reliable. The AK's been around for almost 70 years now, and it works, okay? It works. It's been working for seven decades, and it continues to work. Talk about reliability above everything else. Well, that meets the criteria. All right, we talked about a, a common caliber. Well, 762 by 39 is about as common as it gets. One of the most produced rounds in the entire world. You can get it anywhere. You can see hell. You can get it even at Walmart now. We talked about having reliable calibers, or, or excuse me, common calibers that are that are effective. It meets it. It's a good intermediate cartridge. Talked about having good accessories. There's a good magazine, Bulgarian Circle 10 Waffle Mags, all right? He's a little bit pricey, but they work. They work in any conditions, okay? I'm gonna show you another example of an AK mag here pretty soon. But we also talked about the price, okay? It's an Arsenal SLR 107, okay? What this is, this is about a thousand dollar gun, but I know it'll work and I know it'll last the rest of my life. So when you're picking a gun, look for these traits. I'm gonna show you another one. All right, guys, another example of a rifle you could choose if you wanted to go full-size, and I know a lot of people are, are starting to look into full-size cartridges again. Uh, these are good. This one here is Springfield Armory, okay? This is an M1A uh, SOCOM. They have different models. This is just one example. They've got full sizes. They've got this model. It's good. This is a reliable gun. Um, it runs very well. Once again, cartridge. Uh, 762 by 51 also known as 308 all right very common caliber very common round I mean all across the United States it works full size all right 308 is is a good reliable caliber it's been killing people for a long time accessories good magazine government contract uh, M14 magazines it works all right all these things price point on this is gonna be more than than uh, it's gonna be a little bit more than what people realize but price of this rifle maybe around 13 fourteen hundred dollars a little bit more pricey I just wanted to give you an example you're not limited to just an AR and AK this is a good rifle that works I've shot this one a ton and it runs well let's do let's take another look at another gun that will work out for you all right guys another example of a rifle that's gonna work all right when you keep it clean the AR 15 all right there are many different brands of them but but as I said, you know, expect to pay a pretty decent amount, 800, 1,000, 1,200 bucks on a good one. Okay, I'm not gonna endorse any brands or do any of that, but do your research. There's plenty of good companies out there that make AR-15s. All right, this one, once again, has, has its you know, backup iron sights on it, a good flashlight mount right here, cheap. There's, there's no rail. I mean, what, what do you need one for? I mean, some people like them. If you like them, get them. If you don't, you know, you don't really need one, but as I said, you know, good magazines here. Magpul makes good ones. The government contract magazines are working well. Keep them clean and they're going to work. This is just another example of a rifle that will work well for you. Notice that it doesn't depend on what, it's not uh, one versus the other. It's, these are all good rifles that work. And finally, I'm going to show you uh, on a higher end of a rifle what you can do if you, would, if you want to and you have the money to do it. Folks, this is the last example here is of, of what a higher end gun is, and I know it looks just like a regular Mac 90, a uh, Norinco Mac 90. Well, it is, uh, except for the fact that it's gone to Rifle Dynamics and Jim Fuller, so if you really wanted to get a premium AK, you could do that. Now, you're going to spend a lot of money doing that, but I know this rifle works. This is one I use on my with my bed every night. This is the one that is on guard duty because I know it works. Uh, you'll notice it's different from the other AK. I mean, obviously, it's wood and, and all that, but this, this gun works. Notice the metal magazine. I included this magazine because See that big dent in that magazine right there? Guess what? It still feeds. It's still reliable. The magazine still works. Okay, so this is an example of a magazine. All right, once again, it works. It works without any problems despite having that dent. That mag follower is way below that dent and it's still working. Um, so in any case, you got your metal magazines. These are about 12 bucks a piece, okay? They're nothing. Once again, fits the criteria. It's reliable, common caliber, good accessories, and the price, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more than a regular AK, but they work. But that said, I hope I can give you some ideas, and you're not limited to any one uh, kind of model. They'll all work. It's just, what do you want? So those are just some ideas to get you started on a rifle. It's not one versus the other. They're all going to work. They've all been working for decades. They all have done their job. All right, it is what do you prefer? What do you want? 
I can tell you, you're not going to go wrong with any one of those guns, okay? They've worked in any conditions, and they, they continue to work. Um, so that's it. I mean, they're, it's flip a quarter, you know, pick one. Just want to give you a basis for information. If you like the information in the video, subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook. And you really want to get some training on that long gun, come on out to Valor Ridge, and we'll teach you how to do some pretty cool stuff with it. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge. Remember, lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. See you on the ridge.